I don't know what to do. If I make it through the night, just know my name is Kenny Fisher. I'm 15 years old, and I'm from Houston, Texas. My parents decided to go on a couple's retreat with our neighbors. So I was to stay with their kids, Lenny, who was my age, and Gavin, who was 18. I was excited. I don't really have a lot of friends. Most people see me as dorky, but me and Lenny are great friends. My parents leave after giving me a kiss on the cheek. See you in a few days. I get to the house, and me and Lenny waste no time and start playing Black Ops 4, Zombies. We are straight beasting. Around round 30, he looks at me. If you hear a knock on the door this late, don't answer it. I figured he was joking. We live in a friendly, suburban neighborhood. He goes to the bathroom, and around that time, I hear a knock on the door. I see a guy around our age holding a 12-pack of Miller High Life. Hey, bro. I'm Lenny's cousin. I stole a few beers from my old man. Let me in, and we can party. I start to twist the knob until Lenny picked me up and pulled me away. You don't freaking listen. Your cousin is out there, and he's... He's gone. No one was there. Listen to me. This thing has been coming around for a few weeks. I don't know what it is. Or what it wants. But it doesn't sound good. I went to sleep peacefully. Until I heard banging at 2am. I peek out the window. And a police officer approaches. We have a warrant for Gavin's arrest. We caught him breaking and entering. At the old mill on Pine Road. Lenny was dead asleep. And I know Gavin was too. Sir, I can't. What did you just say? Do you want to be arrested too? No sir. But open the door. It's your final warning. You're that thing I was warned about. The air was dead silent. The officer had a smile from ear to ear, almost like a cartoon. Clever boy. And it went away. A few days go by, and every now and then, at night, I'd see a kid knocking or hear banging on the doors. It was like Lenny and Gavin were numb to it. Tonight we were eating frozen pizza and Gavin points out the door. There it was. I call it the door knocker. He had a black suit, black eyes, spiked hair, and a goatee. He looked Caucasian. Lenny, your friend looks delicious, he said in a smooth, deep voice. Lenny was frozen, and Gavin started to have tears roll down his eyes. He looks at me and holds up a key. I have the key. All you have to do is open the door. It can't do that, Kenny. Ignore it, Gary cried. I hate for your family to disappear, but it doesn't have to be that way. Piss off, I screamed. He scratched the window and was gone. A few more days go by and my parents should be on their way. Things were great. We played some video games, ate junk, and even had Gavin buy us a black and mild cigar. I coughed like crazy because I'd never smoked before. Then my parents called. Kenny, we're on the way. The boy's parents were never with us. What? I'm so sorry. I seen on the news once we got back that they died in a car crash. And so did Lenny and Gavin. We're on the way. I'm so sorry, babe. The phone signal was lost. That's impossible. I spent the whole week with them. I looked up and the house was empty. I turned on the news and about puked with what was said. I started dry heaving and felt my heartbeat in my ears. They must have made a run from it a while ago. Their car was totaled. They looked mutilated by the description. The house is empty. Who did I spend all this time with? The door was always open, I heard in my ear. All the windows and doors were being banged on. Thud, thud, thud. Has anyone else had this experience? Thanks for joining us around the campfire. If you enjoyed the story, subscribe below. Also, hit that notification bell to be notified of our new stories as they are posted. If you have a story you'd like to share for narration, submit it via email, and you may be hearing your story next. Our email address is in the description box below. Thank you, and good night.